Hello guys, welcome to tutorial number 5 of SolidWorks on uh, Porsche 911. So let's get started. So we have little adjustment to make here. Uh, click on this surface and go to this sketch, this line, and double click it and go to right view and what we have to do is extend this line control Z uh, what if we will use this uh, move entity then that will be good click here and we have to move it along Again, click here and then ex extend it. Click OK. Now it's good. All right, get out of this sketch. And what we'll do is we will trim this part because when we make a surface, uh, here this this surface, this surface it really creates a problem uh, so have, we have to trim it and that then that will be a perfect surface so what we do is we have to go to right sketch right plane and sketch and turn on the wireframe view and using the spline from this point to this point just escape now let's uh, align the spline according to According to this blueprint, and get out of the sketch, turn on the shaded with edges, and keep the sketch selected, and go to surface trim and select this surface, remove the selection. Okay. All right. Now what we are going to do is uh, we are going to draw the rear part. Let's uh, increase the decrease the uh, transparency of this uh, rear sketch. So where is that? I mean rear uh, pick. Double click here and make it um, so that we can see the edges. All right. What we do? We have to draw this thing then we'll create this surface what I meant is this surface for that we need this one so let's get started go to the rear view and turn on the 3D sketch using spline from this point to this point alright go to top view and put it here and again go to rear view and align it take a right view and take a top view as well alright let's make it a little more according to the blueprint there you go then a rear view again alright it seems proper It is good. Get out of the sketch here and 
now we got the we got this line so we are going to draw this surface to turn on the 3D uh, sketch again using spline from this end to this and press escape then align it with this line absolutely then we are going to see the right view so here you can see that we are really going to align here and let's take a rear view so you can see alright so right view is ok top view top view is a little more that is ok alright get out of this sketch then we are going to use 3d sketch again from this corner here to this corner and we are going to align it here again go to the top view again Try to align here. This seems good. All right, here it doesn't seem that good. Take a top view as well. So now we are good. Get out of this sketch. So we are going to use loft, lofted surface. Select like this sketch and this sketch. And for guide curves, this one and this one. So edge with, with this edge we want a tangent surface. So keep this edge selected, go to normal tangent to the face. Alright. It is absolute tangent. Alright. What we will do is we will draw this one. These things. I don't know what to, what uh, what to say about this surface. Uh, this one. So we will go to the rear view, and on this plane, uh, on the plane, uh, we put the rear blueprint. So on that plane, we will do this. Uh, do a sketch. Click on it and click on sketch, and then we will go to spline. Then we will draw a line like this. All right, it's it's okay. Then we are going to align here. Take a right view. All right, let's extrude this surface. It's good. Click OK. Then uh, make a sketch in right plane, turn on the wireframe so that you can see the blueprint, and then from spline here to here. Here, 
playing there. Get out of this sketch. All right. Oh, we have we, we have to make another spline as well. This one from here. To here, and then Alright, get out of the sketch and turn on the shaded with edges view. I keep forgetting that. So we're going to trim, select this blueprint. And the surface we have to select is this one. So we have to keep this surface, rest of the surface we don't need. Alright, now we will. We will draw the this part. So for that we need to show this sketch. Alright. And then we are going to use 3D sketch supply from here to here. And we'll take a top view of that. It's already aligned, as you can see. Alright. Get out of the sketch. And then, using 3D sketch again, with this spline from this point to this point. Alright, let's take a top view. Copy that, it's okay. Alright, get out of the sketch. So, we will go to surface. Let's see whether the fill with surface works or not, or we have to create a sketch over here. Let's see if it works or not. This one, this one, this edge. This sketch and this is and oh it's not working. What we have to do is we have to make a 3D sketch, convert entities, select this one, select this one, and click OK and go to trim. So trim this one and this one. Now we're left with this one. Alright, let's see it works or not. This one, this one, this one, this one, this sketch, and this sketch. And this is one. Let's see it again. This one. On our fill with surface, this one. Do this, we have to hide this sketch. All right, go for surface again from here, here, this one, this one, no, all right, this is a here you can see there is a problem so what we are going to do is this sketch, we have to fix this sketch I mean this spline click this one
get out of the sketch. Delete it. Let's make another. Make the sketch again. This sketch, this one, this line, and this surface. There we go. This is a good looking surface, but the problem here is we need to provide a thin interlation with this with this surface. So what we will do is we will go to here edit and here first we will see which is that edge and this is the fourth one alright. Keep it selected and go to tangent and then click OK. All right. So in next tutorial we will be designing more and press the save button and and keep your doubts in the comment box. I'll reply to it as soon as possible. So bye and see you in the next tutorial.